Let us see the summary of the poem Father to Son by Elizabeth Jennings. The speaker in the poem is a father who tries to understand his son and in a way is speaking indirectly to his child. The father begins by expressing his inability to understand his son even though they have lived in the same house for years. He feels as if he doesn't know his own child anymore. So, he vainly attempts to rebuild a relationship with his son on the basis of what the son was like as a small child. The father wonders whether he has destroyed all his links with his son or whether the son's concerns and the interests are those in which the father is not involved. Their relationship seems to be like that between strangers and they seem to have no way of communicating with each other. The father remarks how the son resembles him externally but their minds and their ideas are different. The father asserts that his son's interests are alien to his understanding. The father then goes on to say that he would have been more comfortable if his son had gone away, made mistakes and returned home in repentance, much like the prodigal son in the biblical story. He prefers this to his son moving away permanently and living an independent life, one that the father can neither understand nor appreciate. The father feels that he would have forgiven his son's action had his son left home and returned. The father imagines the happiness and the love he would have felt for a son who came back to him after many years of absence. What is painful for the father, however, is that he and his son are living together and yet are unable to either understand or communicate with each other. The father expresses his inability to understand why his own sadness is expressed as anger. Ironically, both father and son are eager to make amends and form a relationship.